Do you know what? I've neglected you guys on YouTube, and I'm so sorry, man. But we're here with Mo Gilligan's Homes Under the Hammer Time. So let's just get into it, man. I'm just a few minutes walk away from loads yes. of amenities. Big up Jackie. This Jackie just feels like my auntie. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's got auntie that looks like Jackie. Big up Jackie, man. Pine Street filled with period properties. And I'm really pleased to say that it's in one of these beautiful houses that I'm here to see a split level one bed flat. This is gonna be super expensive. You know why? Because it's Hackney. Hackney's not a joke, you know. Hackney was like the original gentrified area. Now, the flat is okay. on the second floor and had a guide price of £250,000 plus. Okay. The lovely thing about feet. this, it looks grand. It looks magnificent. It looks like where Phil Mitchell got shot in EastEnders. I know who you are! <laughs> Do you know? If you know, you know. The other thing to note, mm. we're in London and listen. OK, what? I can hear someone talking, but listen. What are we listening to? Don't, don't give me that suspense, Jackie, bro. Don't do that. I thought you was going to be like, listen, can you hear that? Can you hear the sound of, of some reggae vibes? Oh, that's, that's what that, that when you know you're in the heart of the community. Cat acne is never quiet, bro. Okay, so you've got your communal area. Mm. Uh, quite a lot going on here. We've got bikes, we've got loads of letters, we've got some DIY gear. Mm. And the flat is on the second floor. I've got lots of stairs to climb. Keep it. One eternity later. Well, I finally there's no made... no carpet on the stairs. Already, I'm like, cool, there's no carpet on the stairs. Sometimes I feel like that's quite good because it's a bit of a blank canvas. What is that behind her? Is that... Please tell me that's just a, a mark because that's... This is doo-doo, baby! Clean that up, first of all, Jackie. So, um, you've got stairs going up to the bathroom. I'll take a look at that later. Okay. And then your main bedroom. It's big, it's bright, lots of light coming through. What? That's the main bedroom, you know. That is the main bedroom. Do you know how small that is? Is this HMP Bel Bel As, no, I, I promise, like Belmarsh? This is London prices are like if you go to the chicken shop here in central London, the the prices are so much for chicken and chips. You're like, what? That is what London house prices are like. So anyone who's not from London, don't come here and live here. You know, it's way too expensive, man. What this needs is just a little bit of TLC. Sort out the walls, sort out the flooring, mm. get the lighting done. It's doable. That was their moment to play TLC. Are you all right? Come on, man. Don't go chase. The worktop is sound. You've I got agree. This breakfast bar here. Real I like MFI these white vibes. brick tiles. The only thing I don't like, the lighting. No, um, and also the like exposed pipes. Mm -hmm. um, not very attractive. No. You know, you need to sort that out. But all in all... Can't just be seeing man's pipes. Pause. This okay, is the living room. Size, but no. Wouldn't it be nice to create one gorgeous space? Yeah, kitchen, I agree. Living, I agree. Because I think because of the size of the property, it would create a more grander sort of style and atmosphere. Mm, and then the you could create a beautiful modern home. Because in this area, that is what sells. The only room. It's the bathroom. This is all right. Yes, you could do with a lick of paint, mm. you know, maybe sort out, you know, the splashback, get, you know, a mirror up there. Chuck a mirror on but there. if you had to move in, mm. you absolutely could. Yeah. This ain't, this ain't an expensive job, Jack. The other thing is, that's quite low, isn't it? Yeah, one jump. It feels like Land of the Giants. Oh, mash up but your neck. All in all, it's a good one. It's always worth doing a loft conversion to increase the value of the property. This guy just looks like a debt collector. I don't know why, he's really giving me bailiff vibe. If I didn't have a ticket on a train, this guy would definitely make me pay the fine. You know those faces you see? They're like, this guy is like, no, no, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. He looks like a hitman who's looking for someone. He looks like a Russian hitman called, I don't know, bruv, Beetroot. They call me Beetroot because I thought everyone to look like Beatrice. So I'm looking for her. Have you seen, have you seen Babushka? In terms of value, we're looking around about 510 to 520,000 pounds. As a two bedroom with a loft conversion unit, we'll be looking around about 560 to 580,000 pounds. Woo! And for rental? Not cheap. As a one bedroom Hackney flat, though. we're looking rental value of around about 1,800 pounds per calendar month. And as a two bedroom, we're looking 18, 1800 per calendar month. These are old prices. This must be an old episode because for that flat in Hackney, that's probably double that. 
now. So maybe as an investment it's good, but why are they? Tom Alberto, lovely to meet you both. Nice to meet you too, likewise. What a corker you've got here. These two look like teachers, innit? This guy on the left, he is definitely an art teacher. The right, he's giving me history teacher. Maybe English, Ma no maths. He's a maths teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very, very happy with it. Um, we feel that it's got a lot of potential for us to remodel and to renovate and make it a lovely home for somebody in the future. Mm. How did you find the auction then? There's actually our other business partner who's based in Belfast who uh, did the actual auction on the day. Oh, who's that? What's his name? Um, mm -hmm. He's called Ben. And so did you get to... Man was in the mainframe, you know, and a man does that. I'm in the mainframe, I'm making the bids. Do you know how rich you have to be to go for an auction for houses? I've been on an eBay auction trying to bid an extra two pounds and that is stressful enough. Imagine bidding on a whole house. So, so what's your background? How did you all get together? Tom and I actually went to school together. Oh, uh, wow. So we met back in the mid 90s for the first time. In 2014, we moved into South East London uh, on the same day in the same building. No way. Completely. Sorry, but that was so fake. No way. Speed up, bruv. How are you lot bridging? You at school? Cool, man. Um, and then a few years later, we decided to sort of start a business project uh, for, for property renovations like this one. Nah, man, that's a real friend, you know? When you say, listen, bruv, went to school, let's start a property together. Me and my friends can't even go on holiday, let alone start a, a property portfolio. Oh, man. You know when, oh, man. You, you know what you, how, how good that is when, when things come together? You can't go nowhere, nowhere. Sometimes we do it, let's go Nando's. A man won't even come. You know how mad that is? Just not even turn up. That is crazy, Liam. So what's the plan? How are you going to reconfigure this? In brief, the main points are to basically knock the wall down in between the kitchen and the living room and make that an open plan, sort of kitchen, uh, diner area, living room yeah. area. that wall down, um, In here, which is the bedroom, not a huge amount to do, really. Just sort of refurbish it, remodernise. Um, maybe also some, put some new electrics in, replumb, um, and obviously complete renovation of the bathroom, um, which is uh, a touch small, so we're hoping to add a bit more sort of uh, seating space there. There's not much to there. do there. I think and that's what some, I like about this property. There's the not floor. a lot. Are you going to be hands-on? Are you going to be hands-on, Alberto? Uh, I'm definitely sticking with Tom and Ben's expertise on this one. Uh, they, they are doing all the project management on This is just like a uni group project, boy. He's basically saying, look, I'm not doing nothing in this uni group project, but I'm bringing the snacks and you can use my mum's spare room and that's what I'm providing. In terms of the work, that's you, man. If you've ever done uni projects, you know. There's someone that does the, the main work and then you're just there assisting, just you know what I'm saying? Like, he's basically just giving man a little massage and patting him on the back. The build, we're hoping to have a kind of construction budget of 40,000. Yeah. And then approximately 20 for the, the kind of fixtures and fittings, floors and kitchens and bathrooms. The only time I talk about these kind of facts and figures yeah, when it comes to money is when I play football manager. Like, you know, and you're like, yeah, you pro we, we can sign it for a hundred grand. Yeah, you know, have as much signing on fee as you want. You'll give man any signing on fee, you know? And you're like, well, I don't know, it doesn't come out of my pocket, boy. It's the only time you can use those facts and figures, boy, or you're just like, nah, let me just release it, freeze up a bit more money in the weekly budget. You know, you know, boy. Trust me, I took Blackburn to the Premier League, bro. Okay, you're back. This leasehold, this was their second project, and they plan to create an open plan kitchen living space, modernised right, throughout, and increase the ceiling height in come the on. bathroom. They're talking. Ooh, wow, this is nice. I'm liking this. Mm. Oh wow, this is really good. Got a little chimney there for Santa Claus. See what they've done with the kitchen. That's a nice open plan kitchen, man. Marble tops, you know. I like this one. This is very nice. I, I would move in here tomorrow. This is nice, boy. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. It's the, the bedroom's a bit tight though. Can't lie, the bedroom is tight. Gold, gold knobs and that. Pause. Yeah, this is, this is a fabulous. I like this one. This is very, it looks very high end. What they do? Oh yeah, come on man. But this is expensive. If this was an almond, this would be an almond covered in the yogurt. You know them 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 ones that they get covered in the yogurt. Not just any regular almond from Boss Man with a yellow sticker that says 59p. These are the deluxe almonds. You can't even you gotta buy these in Waitrose, these kind of almonds. Yeah, I like this one a lot. That is a nice bathroom, man. Yeah, this is high end, bro. This is the kind of flat that a girl would have that her parents probably buy for her from Bristol. Yeah, you know, I'm just living in like, you know, a little place in like Hackney. Yeah, it's just like really small. And you turn up to the house and this is her flat. So a man are like, well, I'm gonna wear this girl, you know? This is your flat. Like, this is nice, you know? This is them houses that they just smell of. You know, like them, them houses you walk in, it just, it smells like H&M. Do you not know what I mean by that? H&M got this mad smell when you walk in there. Oh, what, what did you think? Absolutely stunning. 
love the finish. It's absolutely yeah. spectacular. I think they've done everything they possibly can into a really, really high standard. Yeah, we got my guy Matthew. Matthew. You, um, look you look like you just sell Christmas this, trees this out of season, bro. Always look you look really, like you own a, a business. Um, and I think they've now this property really done well. Um, in terms of rental, I think you're looking around about eighteen hundred pounds per calendar month. Same as what I said before. Eighteen hundred pounds. Um, prices round about the same. For London. That's a good figure. Um, in terms of valuation, I think you're looking around about five hundred and twenty to five hundred thirty thousand pounds. Wow. That's actually slightly more than we had valued it as when we were doing our calculations before we made the offer at the auction. I've learned a lot from this. I've learned a lot that I need to just get in contact with some of my, 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 my white middle class friends from school and hopefully we can just build a property empire. So if there's anyone out there that I went to school with that's got a bit of change and you want to, you know, get into this property thing, I'm here for it, man. Me, me and the man them are trying to go on a stag do um, this year and it's not, even, it's not even sorted, unfortunately, but that is the difference of the man them, you know what I'm saying? I think what I've learned from this is keep in contact with your middle class white friends from school because they'll give you opportunities like this, yeah? You know what I'm saying? But saying that, they ain't got no drip though. These man's drip is absolutely bottom of the barrel. There's no drip there. Oh my gosh, this is this is a puddle. They look like feds. <laughs> so that is it. That's the end of Homes and the Hammer Time. It is great to be back. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think, yes, I need to be friends with my middle class friends? Do you think that house is too expensive? Do you think that London is way too expensive? Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Most importantly, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode of Homes and the Hammer Time. Take care. Peace.